Good morning, everybody. A while back, I started a little bit of a series. I, I didn't even do anything. I just did one of trying to get some filters so that you guys can see what the filters do. And what I wanted to do was go through four at a time and just upload little videos of four at a time. I'm going to try to do that this time. Basically, what this is, is these are the first four in the video category of the filters. So you can see them. I will throw this. This one's one I made. I'm just throwing it in anyway. It's very easy to make. It was done with, um, with motion. Basically what I did was I, I attached a strobe to it. I'm going to render this. And now that it's rendered, I'll show you what it looks like. Oh, well, that's kind of weird. Okay, let's try it here. See how it's kind of stuttered? Now let me turn it off, and you'll see that movement. It's much smoother. Okay, and then if I turn it back on, bring down my strobe rate to 9, for example. Oh, come on. Hurry up and render. Okay, watch this. See how it's more stuttered? So what's happening is this is playing at 9 frames a second instead of 15. It's Normally it's set at 15 by default. You can mix it and do some goofy things with it. And this was a filter again. This was one that I made in motion. And basically I just stuck a strobe rate filter and just applied it as, as a template. So that was doing a mix, five frames per second. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this. We'll drop in 50s TV. This one's kind of fun. It's black and white mostly, but you can actually adjust it somewhat. You can adjust the amount so that it looks just kind of desaturated. If you go too much, it gets that uh, black fringe on it and just looks horrible. But it's supposed to emulate a very old television, and it's kind of fun to play with. You can also, if you go to 50%, it seems really, really bright. So you can bring that brightness down. And just play with it. Let's do the really horrible look. Render it real quick so you can see what it looks like. It looks like the old uh, black and white TV that I grew up with. And no, I'm not a 50s child. It just, I had a really crappy old TV. I used to watch Married with Children on this really old black and white 14 inch TV. It was hilarious. Okay. Okay. So that's that filter. That's the 50s TV filter. Let's add noise. Let's make some noise here. On the add noise, you have several different options. First off, let me let me up the noise so that you can see it. And you can see what it's doing. It's adding all this goofy stuff in there. You can bring the opacity down if you want. Keep it the same. But one of the things you can do is monochrome the noise. It doesn't look different here. It will once I change the static. So see how it's very multicolored? If I add if I put the monochrome check mark on there, it'll just be black and white. You can totally see the difference. All right. Now let's um, let's change the The blend mode of it. There we go. That looks kind of cool. You can just play with any of these blend modes and get some fun little effects out of them. And you have these different types of noise. You have TV static. You have white noise. You have Gaussian noise. 
You have blue noise and pink noise. And it has to do with the waveform of how the noise, the pattern of the noise. All right, let's go ahead and render that. Now, the noise does move around. It doesn't stay static in one spot. It moves around and jitters and stuff. Hay un gran See that? Zero. It's pretty much like static. It's kind of fun to play with. And last of all today is aged film. You have your brownish sepia tone look, and this is what, what it looks like by default. Most people just use the default settings. Some people play with them. But this is what it looks like by default. Hay un gran pizzero. And it looks okay. I would combine it with the uh, strobe to make it look even older. But you can change the amount. You can use a realistic grain or an iMovie grain. And I think the iMovie grain actually kind of gives it a little bit of a worse look. Hay un gran pizzero. Hey. It's browner for sure. You can adjust how much color it has. That's full saturation and this is none. You can adjust how much grain it has. You can adjust how many scratches. You can adjust the dust, which you don't see any dust in there. Let me see if I can find a frame with dust in it. You have hairs. You can make a jitter. Hay un gran pizzero. You can make it jitter wildly. Uh, you can cause the uh, focus to go in and out. Hay un gran pizzero. Let's turn the jitter down. So you can see what the focus is doing. Hay un gran pizzero. And brightness variance. It'll go bright and dark. Hay un gran pizzero. And then you can randomize it. Now, like I said, I like to throw this together with the uh, 15 frames per second. And usually I put the 15 frames per second on the top and run these together. And you lose that smooth motion that you had before. Pizza. Hay un gran pizzero. Let's get rid of that brightness variance. Let's go just a little bit. Same with the focus. Let's add a little bit of a jitter. And let's bring down the hairs and the dust and the scratches. Alright, yeah. now let's try it. Hay un gran pizzero. It actually might look better if I switch these two and do it this way. Pizza. Hay un gran pizzero. Yeah, there we go. Looks a little more smooth. So I like to combine those two if I use any of them. All right, so those are the first four. 15 frames per second, the one that I created. 50s TV, add noise, and aged film. Okay, and next little one, I'll, I'll go with the next four. Aged paper, artifacts, aura, and background squares.